Google Search Console Index Coverage Report crawled currently not indexed. In this video session, we're going to explore what this actually means. First thing to do to have a better optimized website is press on the sitemaps you've submitted to see index coverage crawled currently not indexed issue is revealed to you for the URLs that you currently submitted in your XML sitemap. Because all known pages shows you historical data. That means once upon a time Google has crawled these URLs because it's all known pages. At times last crawl information, as in we can filter it and say, okay, show me when it was last crawled, on what date before and after we can do that analysis. And looking at that, I may say, okay, you know what, that was about four months ago, Google looked at this URL, and somehow it just didn't place it in its index. Then you have access to page details here. You can always fetch as Google for crawl currently not indexed to see yeah, when you fetch and render you'll see how Google is seeing that website when you test it and if you end up seeing not found unreachable error redirected all these things then you need to troubleshoot your web server because Google is somehow crawling a URL but it's just having problems and it's not placing that URL in its index. However, if you fetch in Google and there is complete or partial status, let's press on that. Because now Google shows you more details about that URL that it has crawled and not indexed. Here, this information is very useful. Ideally, you want both to be identical. That means how people see your website and how Googlebot see your website. It should be identical or if not very similar. Because if things are very different, as in completely different, then it may crawl a URL and it doesn't have to place it in its index. Because it's up to Google's discretion in terms of what it places in its index. Let me show you that crawling process using Windows 10 command prompt. Let's ping a website. So I want to ping my domain. So although it's not the same, Google crawling process works similar to this, along similar lines. It requests a URL, and then there is a response from the server saying, you know what, you try to access this resource and here's the response. That means it can crawl it. But once it crawls it, it analyzes the web page content. Let's imagine this web page, it looks at the content. At this moment, crawl currently not index for URLs that is within your sitemap that you have submitted. If Google is crawling it, and yet it's not indexing it, and Fetch as Google feature is showing that Google can crawl it and render it, that can mean two things. It can mean that somehow Google is looking at the landing page content and it's finding it not original enough, so that could happen. This usually happens because some small business owners they end up hiring digital agencies, SEO gurus, and they want to target many different suburbs, as an example. As an electrician, want to target 20 different suburbs, and then they keep creating different landing pages. And the only thing that changes on those landing pages is perhaps the suburb name. And yet the content is similar. If that's the case, in a scenario like that, Google will crawl it, but it is um, normal for Google to not place it in its index. 
But if you believe the page in question has original content, it's useful, then you have options. You can manufacture as Google after Google sees the page, it can see it, render it, and you can request index. You can do that. You can make sure you are using XML sitemaps and there are no issues on that department. Furthermore, since you should be managing a Facebook business page for your business website's growth and marketing purposes, you can share links back to that URL Google has crawled and yet not place them in its index. Because Google follows links. And if it sees that a URL is being shared externally, and the content is original and useful, then it's more than likely that it's going to place it in its index quicker. If you're managing Google+, Plus, perhaps you have Google My Business listing, then you can publish posts. When you do, you can give backlink to the URL Google has crawled and currently not indexed. Ideally, once again, all you need to do is triple check the current sitemaps. And if they end up showing you crawl currently not index, if it's a brand new landing page, then give at least a week to double check again. That's why last crawl information can be of use. Because it sometimes takes a bit of time for Google to crawl it, as an access the page, analyze it, and then not place it in its index. For small business websites that put out content you know, perhaps once a month, that usually happens for new URLs, even though content is original and optimized. Okay, so always triple check the current sitemaps. If there are issues in terms of Google scrolling it, currently no index, then ask yourself, you know what, is there a brand new page? If so, allow at least one week to come back and double check. At that time, if Google is still crawling it and not placing it in its index, and you believe that page is optimized, then you can request indexing. After that, you can also share the link on external sites, perhaps social media profiles that you manage, share a link back to that URL, because then that's going to speed up the process of indexing as well. At the end of the day, this is how you need to work around crawl, currently not index, index coverage issue in Google Search Console. I thank you very much for learning with me. If you benefited from this video session, please do give it a like and share it. And I'll talk with you in the next video session.